Hello friends, welcome to the JavaScript React.js tutorial and in this tutorial I will be covering uh, complete like from hero to hero from basic to advanced level I will be covering all the concepts of React.js everything I will be covering after finishing this course right you will comfort you will be confident in working in project React.js project don't have to fear or anything you will be a master and you need to practice you need to practice if you just if you don't practice then you will still um, you will not have confidence and you practice and go through each and every recording videos this is my react.js tutorial and we, i will be uploading the tutorials just regularly my channel link is tectonic please subscribe to my channel here is the link okay, i have provided please subscribe to my channel and so that you will not miss any uh, any important or any uh, tutorials or any videos you will not miss from my channel next let's go to the react what is react yeah React is a JavaScript library for building user interface. It is a JavaScript library for building user interface. User interface means this click events, displaying this doc, headers, titles, search component, thing. Everything is a UI. Drop down boxes, panels, grids, tables, everything is in UI. React makes it makes Painless to create interactive. Creates painless. There won't be any painless pain to create a user interfaces. And design simple views. Design is simple views for each state in your application. Create a simple views in the application. React will efficiently update render because it uses virtual DOM. It doesn't use native DOM. So efficiently update it will update DOM efficiently. Declarative use makes your code more predictable and easier to do. If you are using right the old way of writing code, you need to write everything in JavaScript. You need to uh, interact with DOM and write HTML code in there. Everything is tightly coupled will be hard to maintain and debug it uh, everything is component based react yeah, everything is component learn once and write anywhere simple way of uh, creating react component like printing the hello teller okay we'll go to js file now Select React. Nothing is required. Remove everything. Yes, yes, also we don't need. Run it. Printing nothing. And we have only one HTML component <coughs> that is div tag. With ID app, we will be writing React code now. What we are doing, we wanted to put hello world here, like right? H1 hello world. Run it. I don't want it to hard code this one, I want it to make it dynamic. I don't want it to hard code here, I want it to. Make it dynamic. I wanted to insert dynamically. Dynamically means using React. I wanted to. So we have we have to use React DOM to do that. React DOM dot render. I wanted to render an HTML component. HTML component component and where where to render. Render where to render is in here app here we need to render inside this 
so we need to grab this element how to grab this element using javascript you can doc grab that element using document document dot query selector query selector as app using this using this line of code we are grabbing this element app query selector what problem query selector okay should be in quotes okay. and where what is the component we have to we, this component we are using we are using react using react we are going to create create we are going to create element create element and what element h1 element header and next properties I am not providing any properties I'll, and what is the value hello world <coughs> hello world using react I am creating a component the component is head, header and no properties I am providing the value hello world and grab this save element using document.query selector and render this complete output here using render function. Next run this. Hello world. It's printing here. What we have done using React DOM, we are rendering. So even instead of creating this, right? We can create a function. Function create element. Create element. I am going to return return this one call this one we have separated this component creation we have separated instead of keeping inside single line we have created a separate function okay and we are calling that function using function call printing hello world very simple we for few videos like for playing react js we will use js twiddle once we are comfortable and we will be using uh, visual source code in my local and i will install node js and i will install visual studio after that i will install react and i will use cli using cli we will create react js projects this is just basic nothing is there very basic i have created div some div html element and using react dom render this element this element here here means here okay friends next Next year we will go some more deep. Thank you.